It's school holidays and you might be wondering how do I keep these kids entertained? And how do I keep them entertained without it costing the earth? So I'll just give you a couple of suggestions um, and ideas of what we do over school holidays because we have a lot of fun but we don't tend to need to spend a lot of money. Instead of taking your kids to the pool, which you have to pay for, you can take them to the beach or a river. Um, if they're not very good swimmers, just make sure they've got life jackets on and obviously keep close by, make sure that they're safe. We play a lot of board games. We've got, most of our board games are either secondhand from the off shop or they came as gifts. I also make board games, which can be a lot of fun and then we can customize them to the things that the kids enjoy. This is one of the board games I made. So it was just on the big pieces of paper that I stuck together and did up the grid and then just laminated it. It's basically a rip off of snakes and ladders. So, you know, here we've got follow the poor feet down here and, um, you know, there's little challenges, name six animals. My kids are small, so, you know, it's pretty simple board games at this stage. Say something nice about the person on your left. Oh, isn't that sweet? And it did get drawn on by my toddler, but that's okay. Yeah, it just makes it more colourful. Yeah, exactly. Give our fish a name, Bert. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, you can make your own board games. That's very, very cheap. This is another game that I made. Uh, me and my husband were playing Scattergories, and we thought it'd be fun to play with the kids, but they're still a little bit young to be able to do it properly, so I just made up a simpler version. So if you played Scattergories, you kind of know the rules. Um, so yeah, just easy ones for the kids, naming something in the room, a boy character, a fruit or vegetable, so on and so forth. And then I just made up the little things, so it's five little things in each round. We go for walks. We've got some lovely bushland around here, so we go for bush walks and just even walking around the streets. This one's a little bit limited for us where we are, but um, if you've got like lots of shopping centers and stuff near you, you can go window shopping with the kids. And that can be fun for them to just look at all the different toys and you can also observe what they really like and keep that in mind for birthdays and Christmas presents. Also, if you see the kinds of things they like, you can start keeping a lookout on eBay and secondhand sites for getting these things for cheaper. We go to the park a lot. That's heaps of fun. The kids, you know, get to run around, get some fresh air and play. If it's not such a nice day, the McDonald's has a really good indoor play area here. Now, because we're using their facilities, I do feel it's appropriate to actually buy something from there. But we just get like an ice cream cone each and the kids really enjoy that. For the four kids, they're like 70 cents. So, you know, you're paying less than $5 for a fun afternoon of playing. Lots of families like to go to the movies, but man, movies are expensive. So we just do movies at home. Um, most people these days have pretty big TVs, so it's almost like being at the movies anyway. Um, so we make our popcorn, you know, you can get some lollies. And we go and we dim the lights and, you know, we can all snuggle up together. And you guys like when we do movie nights, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. Let me it's also great because you can pause the movie when someone needs to go to the toilet or something and you don't miss anything. So it can be even better than going to the movies and it will save you like $70. Puzzles are fun. Again, we get puzzles from the op shop and that adds to the fun because you don't know if they have all the pieces until you finish the puzzle. <laughs> so it's kind of extra exciting. And puzzles are also something you can swap with friends because to buy new they can be quite expensive. Um, so yeah, you just swap them over with friends, do the puzzles, and then you can give them back. This one over here really likes going down to the pet shop, and that can be really fun, just going down and having a look at all the pets. We went to um, one, one time that was specifically for like aquarium animals, like fish, reptiles, that kind of thing. And yeah, that was just really fun. We got to see, you know, the snakes and the lizards, and we told the kids a little bit about them, and why they need the heat lamps and all those kinds of things. My son's really into axolotls and he got to see an axolotl, that was very exciting. And sometimes they let you hold certain animals as well and that's really fun for the kids. Yeah, like um, one time when we went to the pet shop I got to hold a bunny. There you yeah. go. 
A lot of parents put their kids in sports programs and these can be really great and very fun activities but again very expensive. Going down to the park or the oval with some friends and kicking a ball around is free. A fun activity we've started doing occasionally is a home cafe because we do like to go to the cafe sometimes um, but especially during lockdown we weren't able to so the kids would do all the baking and they would do our menus and we would do little fake money and it was kind of a little bit like a learning experience for them too because they got to learn how much things cost and we took turns being the waiters and waiting on each other and we got to eat the lovely food that we baked and for the most part the kids cleaned up afterwards obviously the older your kids are the more they can help out with that side of things but make them clean up too so that one it gives them something to do but also they need to learn that you know, you're not their slave there to do everything for them and you as parents probably have other things you need to be doing too having friends over for a play date is another free activity it can be advantageous if that friend's parents then offer to have your child back as well. It gives them somewhere else to go that's a bit different and different toys to play with. And yeah, like kids just enjoy being with their friends. So we quite often have friends over here and they can go to friends' houses too. So that's pretty good. You had your friend here yesterday, didn't you? Yeah. And that was fun. They were playing musical statues in the lounge room. <laughs> but another thing to remember as much as we love doing family things together and it's great to get out of the house or just yeah spend family time together it is okay to let kids just be by themselves and it's also this might be a bit of a shock it's okay to let them get bored because when they get bored they start getting creative I think often we're too worried about keeping ourselves and others entertained and it's actually okay to have time and space in your brain where there's not a lot going on and you're not distracted by other things and it's okay to let your mind drift and wander. And you can get a bit of backlash with this one, with kids whinging at you that you're bored and it will probably drive you insane. And I get that. There is a hack. If they are bothering you too much, you can get them to do housework. Because if they're really that bored, it will give them something to do. And if they do not want to do the housework, say, well, don't complain about being bored. I also do printing for the kids, so um, they like to do colouring in. And rather than buying colouring books, I just ask them what they want to be colouring that particular day. And we get on the computer and we just Google, you know, say they want to do My Little Pony. So My Little Pony colouring pages. And then you just go through, find some ones that they like, print them up and... And all you need to do is buy paper. Exactly. And a printer. And ours is a laser printer, so we don't have to buy the ink, just the toner. So it really is quite cheap. Each of our kids have a little folder that we put their printing in. So, you know, this is Zoe's. And she gets to keep some of the pictures that she does that she really likes. And it just keeps them all neat and together. <laughs> so we are making Hatchimal gardens. Zoe, yeah. what have you got there in your garden? I got some food. Yeah. Some There's some food in here. I'm making it really yummy food. Mm, we've got all our things that we collected. Yeah. Rachel, what have you got? Uh, I have a Hatchimal forest. Oh, very nice. And we have a food bowl. And lots and lots of beautiful trees. <laughs> I'm still not done. 92, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. <laughs> Are you blowing bubbles? <laughs> like that we do on school holidays? Uh, 
that I stay in with my family. Oh, yeah, we have lots of fun, oh, don't we? Oh, and Paula we? 